Goedenavond en welkom. Mijn naam is Johan van der Wald. En tonight we welcome you to Starre in I. To Starry Starry Night. People have said for me, wat leeft voor ons in die toekomst? What are the future lying for us? What are the future lying for us? The one way you can tell the future is by, by uh, studying the cards. Yeah? You can a card to bestudeer. And you give them a good shuffle like this. And then you... you Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what they say here. <laughs> They're telling us it's all a bloody mess. <laughs> you must never lay all your cards on the table or on the floor. That's my advice for you today. Fortunately, we do have the star chart, the static archie. And you can see all the beautiful stars and the planets. Ne? That is telling us what, what is our future holding for us here. This are a solo system. Because there's only one. It's a solo system. And when you read the stars, you're actually doing a horoscope. A horoscope. This comes from when we used to read the scope magazines many years ago. And those ladies used to have the stars in all the funny places. And you wondered what was underneath the stars. You got such a fright. A horror scope. That's what we've got here now. For Daniela. And you see, they make, make patterns, constellations, constellations. Sometimes late at night when I've had too much to eat, then I get horribly constellated. And now, that is why they call it Milky Lane, the Milky Lane. And then some of the stars have made beautiful patterns here. Here is a pranky uh, of the man on the moon. The first bloody man on the moon. He was Louis Armstrong. He have said for us, I see trees are green, I see red roses too. The moon are a, are a wonderful world. Of course, presently we are in the time of Virgo. Ne? Virgo. These people are very patient. From the saying, patience is a Virgo. And they're also very active. Because they're Virgo active. They are healthy people. Ne? And there's a picture here of the Twilling stars, the twin stars, Jim and Nye. And then there's a picture of Uranus. Hmm? There's a picture of Jupiter and uh, Venus and Serena, all the tennis stars, they're all here, they're all here. Uh, oh, here is Sirius, the only South African star. Sirius! Yeah. And who let this dog store out? Who let this dog store out? From Daniel, that are Pluto, named after the character from the Disney films. Yeah. So we're all kind. Here's the Battle Star, Galactica, and the Starship Enterprise. They all here. We even got a new planet, ne? the Tinder Planet, the Tender Planet, which, which we found in, uh, over here somewhere. And that are actually a star with ten suns. I call it the Steve Hofmeyer. <laughs> and here are the Patricia Lewis star with all the hair. Harry's. Harry's. Mensen say for me, Mark Johan, can you tell the future from these stars? Of course I bloody can. Of course I can. The stars are saying there are too much conflict in the world. A long, long time ago, in a gallery far, far away, there was a star war. And when the moon are in the seventh house and Jupiter align with Mars, then peace will guide these planets and love will fill the stars. But until then, it's going to be the dawnering of the age of Aquarium. Don't say Aquarium. No. It will be the dawnering of the age of Aquarium. So my advice for you today is don't go swimming. Because they say swimming is good for your figure. But if that is the case, why are whales so fat? There's Alphonse Meekant, Johan van der Waal. Tot volgende week, stars spreading the news.